Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. It's goodbye, Daniel Andrews. Yes, about six weeks ago, two months ago, I predicted that Daniel Andrews was going to fall on his own sword. And what? guess what, ladies and gentlemen, he's gone and done it. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so yes, Daniel Andrews is gone. It's a new dawn. We're no longer living in Vigdanistan. I, I mean, I feel like a great, a great weight has been lifted off me. And so I actually, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not big on protests, you know, because they always remind me of left-wing things. So all the freedom movement protests, there's this something left-wing about them. There's something about the kind of troublemakers that go to protests that kind of annoys me. It's always annoyed me. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like your right-wing think tank. You know, I'm probably someone who'd enjoy Davos, really, except I don't really like the agenda of Davos, but I'd probably like going there. You know, you can put me up at the Swiss Alps any time, Klaus Rob, if you're listening. But anyway, I'm, I'm <laughs> diverging. Um, so... Let's have a look here. Daniel Andrews has left. Um, look, you know, I think obviously it's a great thing. Anybody in the freedom movement, anybody who's right wing is glad to see that bastard go. Um, but, you know, I mean, let's just not be one dimensional about it. You know, I mean, um, to some extent, I think that, you know, Daniel Andrews was a kind of uniting figure for people on the right, is that he brought people on the right together in opposition to him. Um, you know, you had people who were from far right to, to like freedom movement, who many of them have a left wing background, but we all came together um, in a kind of general hatred or dislike for Daniel Andrews. And obviously I went down to the steps of Parliament, um, saw many people there, saw Rahana Hayes from Cafe Lockdown, Damo, Damo, Damien Richardson, and a whole host of other people were there. Everybody was there, Avi, Raksh, Ruksha, and everybody running around doing their little reports and everything. So it was all very interesting. And um, I'm glad to see him go, but Daniel Andrews was a kind of uniting figure. In a sense, if you have a globalist puppet like uh, Dan Andrews, to some extent, he is a little bit of an O goal because he unites people in opposition. Whereas, obviously, this uh, this new woman, Jacinda Allen, who, which is like Socialist Barbie is her nickname, um, you know, that she is... I figure this a uh, little bit harder to hate. You know, I mean, I, I don't really know much about her. I certainly don't have a hatred for her yet. I'm, I'm sure I can develop one. Obviously, that's what we're about here at the report for Tiger Mountain. You gotta develop your hatreds, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Funnily enough, the support for John Prosciutto, is that his name? John Hamm, I don't know, who knows, who cares? Uh, no one knows who he is anyway, basically. I mean, obviously we all know that the Liberal Party in Victoria basically is non-existent. I mean, you could basically try and elect a can of beans, ladies and gentlemen, you'd probably do better. Anyway, there's this guy called John Prosciutto or something like that, and his support has gone down. Like, just because, you know, basically, he's, you know, um, that Jacinda Allen is not Daniel Andrews. So, um, but you know, Dan, you know, I mean, also, what, did Dan do anything good? I mean, you know, I mean, I'll say something about Daniel Andrews, he was a builder. He built just so many things, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously the, the state is in debt for the next 100 years. Your grandchildren are going to be in debt for what Daniel Andrews has done. But he did build a lot of things. He built a lot of infrastructure, he built whole tunnels in the city, whole new like railway networks, the Northeast Link near where I live. So it's quite spectacular what he's been doing in many ways. And it is interesting. And uh, I gotta admit, I do always admire any kind of leader, even a dictator who is a builder. So, you know, I think that was something interesting about Dan. Um, you know, what else can I say about him? Look, I know people who were supporters of Daniel Andrews and I noticed actually on social media that many of them didn't mourn his loss because he was a very divisive figure. That when he left, there was a lot of people who were glad to see him go. There were even people who vote Labour who were glad to see him go. But there were people who I think that liked Daniel Andrews, um, and I spoke to a couple of them, and they didn't make any m comment on social media whatsoever. And I think that's kind of sad in a way, because I think if you like Daniel Andrews, why the hell didn't... Why not say it? It's not, it's not a crime to like Daniel Andrews, you know what I mean? Go ahead. So I, I encouraged a few friends of mine to make a comment on social media saying they like Dan or whatever, you know, because I guess if you like that, if you like white politics, if you liked the kind of lockdowns and, you know, really harsh, um, you know, measures to deal with the pandemic, Dan was your man. And I did know a couple of people who did think that their life was under serious threat and they actually liked Dan because they felt he protected them and save their lives. So maybe he did. Who knows? You could tell in the grand picture. Obviously, I don't think he did, but there are some people out there. So, you know, it's with a bittersweet, you know, kind of moment. Daniel Andrews is gone, riding off into the sunset. He was spotted, you know, going to New York recently. I don't know what he's doing over there. Going to see everybody at the United Nations would be my bet. But there he goes, riding off into the sunset, and it's goodbye, uh, Dan Andrews from the report for Tiger Mountain. We will sort of miss you, strange enough. You know, there it is. And uh, let's see what happens next.